What's up guys? So today something important is going on. Okay, we're getting ready to meet someone. Someone super awesome that I've been dying to see for, well, since I first subscribed to his channel because this guy is just amazing. So stay tuned. So the day starts off and we have the live stream. The live stream I thought was an awesome experience. It was the first time ever doing it, and I got to do it with Michael, so that was that was just legit. If you have no idea who Michael is, he's a daily vlogger who inspires people to find their adventure. He also runs a daily live stream, and I'm gonna let him talk about it right here. This is not my show, guys. I'm just the humble host. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Basically, what this show is about is I like to let all of these amazing folks in the chat room steer the discussion, but also get to know one another, because that's what it's really all about. I believe personally that everyone's content is much more interesting when you get to know the person behind the camera. So we ended up going to this mall to kind of be indoor slash be out of the rain. While setting up for Michael's questionnaire, we were approached by an employee from the mall. The guy explained that we were not allowed to film inside of the mall. Me and Michael went back and forth explaining that the only reason we were in there is because it was raining outside. Finally, the guy gave us 10 minutes to get what we needed to get done and before he kicked us out of the mall. In case you didn't know, apparently you can't film at a mall. Sorry guys. Now that's over, let's talk to Michael Fire Jr. Okay guys, we're here with Michael Fire Jr. And thank you so much for meeting with me today. You've been a huge inspiration to many, myself included. We got three questions for you. One, first question is, what made you get started on YouTube? A couple of days before the incident happened, I decided that I wanted a way to express my creative outlet. Um, and I decided I wanted to do some YouTube stuff. I've always been involved with music and art and drama and that sort of thing. It seemed like a fun way to put it all together and put it out there. I was kind of influenced by watching a lot of Casey Neistat at the time. And of course everybody, before they actually start doing YouTube, thinks, I could do that. You can't, but everybody thinks they can. Mm. So I decided I was going to use YouTube as a way to kind of express my, my creativity. As it happens, like two days after I actually filmed that in my garage, I got laid off, which gave me lots of extra time to express I, I my YouTube so. creativity, yeah. and that's how it all started. How do you, yourself as a creator, handle that when it comes to motivation to continue to create? Well, I love to create. That's why I do this. Um, I can't imagine not doing it. Uh, lots of folks say, aren't you going to slow down? Don't you get burned out? The reality is that when I'm not out filming or creating, just the creativity process is really what actually drives me and gets me excited. Um, I don't know that I could stop doing it if I wanted to. Maybe not necessarily on a daily schedule for the remainder of my life, but to be honest with you, the daily schedule kind of keeps me, kind of keeps me motivated because I get to do something different every day. I got to try to come up with something different every day. And the creative process breeds the creative process. The more you use it, the more interesting and fun ideas you get. So. Pushing yourself every day to create something, I think is helpful in that way. The last question now is like, where do you see yourself going in five years? Well, I'm not going anywhere off of YouTube. I can tell you that right now. This is what uh, this is what I do for a living at this point. This is what I enjoy. Um, when I say living, it doesn't mean I'm making any money. But I think eventually, inevitably, that'll happen. I love to do it. I love to be creative, and as long as I can keep doing it and you know, support my family, and I'll be and I'll be happy. <laughs> That might still be a year away from that, but still, I'll be happy, and that's the plan. That's the plan. I would like to eventually see uh, growing into multiple channels and maybe having a couple of folks help me out with writing and that sort of stuff. But we'll see what happens. We'll take it one step at a time. Right now, I just want to grow this channel, continue to put out a good message of inspiration and positivity, and get some travel in there and meet lots of YouTubers. That's what it's all about. As the day came to a close, Michael, his lovely sandwich assistant Monica and myself went out to eat. But before we did that, we need to give a gift. Okay, Michael, this is from the crew, sir. The crew? The crew, and it's green for Piney, and it's from Team Strawberry. Oh. So I figured it'd be great, you know, middle ground, so that way <laughs> you might consider one day getting that ice cream. I might. Probably not, but I do like strawberry Pop-Tarts. <laughs> it is the proper use of strawberry right here. Thanks, man. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, all right, guys. So we're finishing up here. I want to say thank you so much to um, the wonderful sandwich maker for allowing us, <laughs> Monica, 
for allowing us to get together and uh, actually we're just having a good time. So yes, the beautiful mom yes. is uh, here with us. Beautiful family had such an awesome time with Michael today. So guys, don't forget if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. His link is going to be in the description below. So do it like right now. Well, after you finish this video, so you can get to the full time, help a brother out, you know. But. <laughs> Anyways, if I had to choose one or the other, make sure you subscribe to this guy. Awesome stuff. Love you guys. Take it easy. See you next time. See okay, you bye. soon, guys. Bye, guys. See ya. Woo.